Hi, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Business Content PLR. And in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit of what you can do on uh, the mobile versions of Evernote. And in this particular one, I have my Android, my Samsung, opened up. And I'm using an app called um, Mirror Up, where I can connect my PC screen with my Android. And all I have to do is have a sender through the Play Store over here on my device and then a receiver on the computer itself. So let's open up Evernote and it opens up first with the latest notes and we'll just play around a little bit here because I don't know everything that it does but I can click on this arrow on the left to bring up the main menu and let's try adding a note and I'll show you a few of the things you can do. So I click on the plus here and it opens up a new note and then I can just type in since I have my keyboard, whoops, I have it, I just changed it to landscape mode. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to type in this is a test note. And then I'm going to show you something really cool, which is the speech to text. And that's this little bubble up here where there's a speech bubble and a piece of paper. And let's give it a try. There's a beep. And then all you have to do is speak and say what you want in your note. And it's very accurate, as you can see. And there you have it. When you're done, all you have to do is click on this check mark. And it should save it. And then you can add some extra information to it by clicking this little drop down. So you can say what notebook you want it in what tags you want to use so you can find it later, what location you created it in. So say you travel a lot and you want to be able to find notes you made in a certain, a certain place. And there are some other settings. So click Save. And you'll save all those details. You might want to also set a reminder here. So say it's a task you remembered you have to do. You can set a date when you want to be reminded of it. So for instance, tomorrow at a specific time, like 9 a.m., right, or 9.20, and click OK. It'll set a reminder to it, and then just click the check mark when you're all done. Let's see what else you can add. Click on the paper clip. You can add a picture that's on your phone, a file. Uh, you can take a picture with your camera and add that to the note. Take a picture of, a, of the screen and a page on the camera and even record some audio. And if you add the added um, extra apps, you can see those below, like Skitch is, what, is something you can use to draw on the screen. So let's save that and see what happens. So I'm going to click the check mark again. And there we'll come back up with some other options. And I can uh, swipe that aside. Let's just do that with my finger and you can see the note that I just did. See it says there's a beep. I could open that again and do more if I wanted, add more notes. I can let's explore a little and see what else is here. If I click on this, I can look at a little more information about the note. You can click on this down arrow and different ways to sort it. Let's see what else I can do. I can looks like I can close that up. So you can show your reminders or close it up again. If you Let me open that one more time. You, if you've done something already, then you can just check it off and it'll be shown as done. So this is great for managing tasks. You can add a new note from down here. Let's see, what else? You can <laughs> explore Evernote and show you all the different things that you can do. So you can see it's very useful a lot of different things. It may not be quite as powerful as the desktop app, but it still has an awful lot, and you can see there's a lot of power in here. So give it a try. Play around with Evernote on your mobile device. I'll see if I can do this on my iPad as well. And there it is. It's snowing here.